Hello today, roguelike people of the internet. Um, we're taking a look today. We're starting a new, very short journey. Uh, exploring the 2005 Out of Challenge 7 DRLs. As I told you before, I've, I've, I've learned a lot about the fact that the, there are these 7 DRL contests, of course, I knew about that, but there are, there are also uh, various tiny contests that weren't an annual contest that will qualify as 7 DRL challenges we'll have to take a look at. But there are also, uh, according to Rogue Base, and several games almost every year, that were made as seven-day roguelikes, but they weren't made within the challenge time frame. Uh, and given our attempt to look at uh, all of history of roguelikes, um, these are all important. Um, so today we are taking a look at the first of three, if I can find and get all three running. The first of three uh, seven-day roguelikes made in 2005, but not for the seven-day roguelike challenge of 2005, but after the seven-day roguelike challenge of 2005, because there are pre-challenge ones. Okay, um, what are we looking at? This is called Chess Rogue. Um, let's just read what it says here. Chess Rogue is a game in which you play the part of the sole survivor of the army of white pieces. There is still a chance to turn the tide, however, by striking at the enemy king while he is unaware. His guards will make this difficult, I'll say. But if you can learn from them as you defeat them, you may have a chance. Your current movement options and capturing totals are displayed on the right of the screen, and practices will be pardon me, and messages will be displayed at the bottom. The rest of the screen is the play area, the grassy islands leading to the enemy king's camp. After you move, every single surviving opposing piece gets to move, and if they capture you, the game is over. There are four difficulty levels. Your final score will be increased by playing the game at a harder level, and the top ten scores are kept for history. Playing at the practice level means you can't get a high score. We're not going to start at the practice level. I may have to resort to it, or this will be a very short video. Let's press a key. For now, let's try pressing, uh, let's do normal, by pressing 2. Now, I didn't know what the difference between no challenges and classic pieces is not uh, really clear to me. Um, if I look at a text file and find out, uh, well, let me see quickly if there is a text file that tells me, because I, I tried it in both. I did have a little more success in the, here we go. Uh, movement, blah, 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 combat, blah, 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 blah. The number of pieces of each type you need to capture to gain powers. Oh, you gain power. I didn't know this. I should have read this. <laughs> the game has four difficulty levels. Yep. Uh, the, the number of pieces you e of each type you need to capture to gain powers increases. I did not know that you could do that. In practice, it's 3 and 15, whatever that means. In normal, it's 6 and 30, so I think it's 6 to get uh, new powers here. Your final score is doubled for each difficulty level above normal. We're playing it normal. We know how they kind of work. Trap doors and treasure. Okay, trap doors start appearing in the later levels, like we're ever going to get there. And opposing pieces will climb out of them. When the trap door is empty of opposing pieces, it will close and be re replaced by normal floor. Didn't know that. A lot of things I didn't know because I played the game literally about 15 or 20 times and thought, well, this is as good as I'm going to get, So, because I suck at it. Um... Let's look at this, and I may have to put up a second video if I, uh... Help, it's too difficult. Go to the hints.txt file. I may have to resort to the hints.txt file and then either either append to this video or, uh... Let's go with no challenges, whatever the fuck that means. Alright. So here we go. We start the game as a king in our own right. Um, if you... All the pieces move according to chess rules, and as far as I can tell, a capture is it's straightforward. It's a one-hit uh, roguelike in the sense that you have no health or anything like that, no equipment. It's just... The only thing that improves with you is, is your, apparently, is your types of movement. As a king, we can move horizontally or vertically one square. Uh, this first level is is uh, entirely composed of pawns. Uh, they can move one square in any direction, as far as I can tell, which is not in keeping with chess rules per se. They should only be able to move north, say. Um, but they can move one square in any direction, and they capture on a diagonal. We capture on a horizontal or vertical. Um, I... I'm not good at chess, I'll be honest. I like chess, I think it's intriguing. I'm not good at it. Uh, I'm really not good at this game. Um, you can see down here, I don't know if you can see my mouse or not, there's a mini-map beneath level 1 showing us, I, I, I believe our, our objective to get to the next level, to get towards the king's camp, is to get to this little white dot in the bottom right corner. I've never come close. But let's try moving around. You can see we're moving. I'm just using the number pad. How can I be this not smart? How is it po Oh, there we go. Nope. See, he's got... Well... See, like, I could dance with him like this forever. What's going to ever happen? How am I ever going to capture him? I can't capture him. And he'll, they're, they're smart enough to hang back if you're, uh, if you're truly looking like you've got an advantage over them. I'm not really sure how to... 
Am I therefore trapped? There, we got killed. Of course I did. Let's try that again. <laughs> Save game report? No. Play again? Yeah. Oh, I was like, oh, fuck, I got a clean run. There's nothing here. That's not the case. There's only one guy, though. I got him. If I can capture them in here. Okay, that's interesting. If I can capture them in here. Come on over here, guys. If I can capture them in one of these little pay off, oh, fuck you. That, that, that that's an obvious thing, right? That's not that's not the game being cheap. That's me missing the obviousness. I can't end my turn on a diagonal with them. It's that simple. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> for anybody who plays chess, this is a remarkable idea for a game. Like it's it's a uh, it's clever as hell. If I go if I go to the right, I mean they can't get me, right? I'm just so incredibly bad at this. Fuck. I'm that bad, guys. I'm I'm ashamed. It makes me feel like it's suddenly clear to anybody who's been watching any of my videos that oh my god, this guy is stupid. If that wasn't apparent before, it's apparent now. I'll try a little more, then I will uh press pause the video, look at the hint text, and come back in with a Alright. We're going to append this video. I'm going to, I'm going to stop it recording, but I'm going to make a second video, which I will link in. Uh, I'm going to look at both of the rules to be clear in case there was anything I wasn't aware of. And, uh, and the hints that text. I, I, I'll be back in a minute. You won't notice I'm gone. Look at that. I'm back. You didn't even know I was gone. All right. Um, I did read the rules. Um, <clears throat> We knew most of it. It was just mentioning the fact there is treasure occasionally, which gives you a temporary bonus power if you get it, and you get a bonus to your score. Uh, occasionally, secret levels open up in the top right of the corner uh, of, the, of the map, and if you go to those, you uh, you go to a special level where you have to kill the level boss, but you gain things for that. Um, and yeah, you're trying to get to the bottom right. If you get through enough bottom right corners, you get to the king, you kill the king, and then escape, you win the game. Um, mind you, we can't get past the first... <laughs> we have trouble capturing uh, you know, a single... A single pawn, so... Um, I started looking at the hints text and mentioned the fact that it's just going to take the fun out of it for you. Um, so... Let's just be stupid together. That sounds like a come on line. Let's get stupid together, baby. I mean, we, we had luck with... Well, fuck. When we captured one of these guys once in a corner. If I... Here's the thing I did learn. Okay, no, here's something I do know. Uh, according to the rules. I'm allowed to pass my turn by pressing 5. No other piece in the game has that power. So by putting it there, if I press 5, it has to move vertically or horizontally, and I can capture it. Oh. <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh, I thought I finally figured it out. Um, that's not the way to do that. But it is, it, that is true, though, that I'm the only one who can pause. Just don't pause on a diagonal. I guess when you see those red bars on the side, it means you're in a position to be captured. Fuck me. See, let us keep switching positions. I can go there. That didn't help me at all, did it? Nope. Jesus Christ, guys. That guy's, like, stuck if I can get in there. Oh, he didn't... I couldn't get in there. I'm so insanely bad at this. Let's try and get to the exit even once. Wouldn't that be fucking magic if we could just do that? Okay, I can do this. Hey, I got two. Uh oh, oh shit! I did get two of them. I mean, that's my high score. No, don't see the game report. So I got two, but I obviously got captured by the third guy who was there. All 
I actually saved that game report for some reason. I don't know why. I can't get out that way. If I do, I'm captured for sure. If I go this way, I'm not captured for sure. I should go a little slower, too. I'm also moving faster than I would certainly in chat. If I go down here, they can't get me. Now, if I go down again, if I go up, they all flee to the left, and I don't get anybody. If I go down, they flee, and I don't get anybody. But at least I don't get captured. Or I go right, and they just keep following me like a bunch of idiots. If I get them to all line up in sufficient depth. All right, I got one of them. That's three of them, right? If I captured... No, I've captured two so far. I think I need to capture six to gain some new power. I would love to see that in action, too. This looks like a good place to put up a, a fight, because they're going to have to line up. They can't get me at an angle. I mean, I'm literally protected here. There's no way they can get to me, period. If I move to the left, of course they can. Three. I've gotten three of them. I don't know if I can get out of here ever. I can't go right now, or I'm dead. I can't go. I can go left. No, I can't. I can't move. I think I've lost, guys. No, nope, I can go right right now. So I had to bide my time. Ah! I could have killed him. Well, that's our best yet. I'll try one or two more. I mean, we haven't been recording that long. Um, and you can tune out any time, of course, if you're like, I don't like chess. I, don't like, I certainly don't like the way you play, sir. Um, I wouldn't fault you. I'd be like, yep, you got a point. Um, fuck. I mean, it's very. It's a very non-traditional roguelike, and I, and I think it's very, very impressive. Um, you know, what's funny is, uh, I mean, this game came out in 2005. Uh, I had literally never heard of it until this year in the, uh, well, for, for me this year. It's the last day of the year right now for me. It's New Year's Eve. Um, in the 2018 uh, roguelike conference. There was a, a talk of Chess Rogue. Um, you know, they did a they did um a panel on Chess Rogue. And I therefore assumed it was a new game. Because I had just never heard of it. Charge. Got one of them. Got a second one. Can't get a third. But I can get a f oh fuck. I really thought we were onto something there. I gotta I gotta temper my excitement. I get like I get in this place where I'm like, oh my god, I can I can kill somebody. If I can get them in these long corridors. Again, I'm I'm definitely safe. But if I can get them to pile up. I don't know if I can. Let's try uh oh shit, I can't quite lure enough of them in, can I? If I can stack them up. I can get them like that. That's three. This is interesting. I need six, right? Unless we're playing practice mode. Practice mode allows you to, uh, when you die, you can come back to life at the start of the level. Possibly with the pawns you've already cleared cleared. I don't know. Or I shouldn't just say pawns, of course. There are, there are more than pawns in this game. <laughs> we just haven't seen them because uh, you guys are watching the world's most inept chess player. If I move left, he captures me. This is my chance to make a break for it. I think I should take it. We got four of them so far. Yeah, 
that plan's not going to work further there, I think. Man, I would love to just get one more. No, two more. Come on up, guys. No, I can't. I can't wait here in case they uh they trap me. I feel very exposed here, which I guess I am. Man, am I ever exposed? This is not a good way to go. I can go up one. If I go left now, there's nobody on a diagonal to get me. I can do that. That's five. I just need one more to gain a new power. Do not go down. Man, I'm, I'm so tempted to go down. I'm not sure it's going to be plausible to get anybody with, uh, with this few... Pawns here. I think I need a third pawn to like really get them to stumble over each other, you know? I cannot go la right. Now I can. I can go right again. This might be a, it's a dangerous place to try to trap them because they can get on diagonals in that corner. I don't love it. There's three of them there now. There we go. You can now capture diagonally forwards. Okay, so when we're going towards the exit, we can capture northeast and southeast, but we cannot capture northwest or southwest. Let's generally try to make our way towards that exit. We may, we may get to see an exit. I think we might be able to reach a second level. At least you'll see that. That's not much. <laughs> I'm aware that that's not... I could go left right now. Here, I can get another one. We've gotten seven of them. <clears throat> it says something about six and fifteen. Does that mean if we get the fifteenth one, we fifteen points? I wonder if I wonder if different guys are worth different amounts of uh, points. That'd be interesting. Or if we get fifteen captures, do we get a new ability again? This one ability is going to make a big difference, but if with only two of them there, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, exploit their weaknesses anymore. Can I go southeast, or is it only capture? It looks like they're red. See the see the red? Oh. For some reason, at this point, it's pointing southeast and southwest. Maybe it wasn't that... Maybe I can, maybe I can capture on diagonals, period. It's just because of the territory I was in, that wasn't an option. It's showing us our moves in general there. If we go here... No, still, I can't, I can't go north... I can't go, like, northwest. I don't know what, what why it changes sometimes like that. I'm not sure. It's too bad. All right, let's go to the next level so we can see it. Save and exit. No, play and play next level. Any key. Okay, so here we are. Uh, at least in terms of visual range, all I can see is pawns. I guess that's a good thing. This method worked well. If we can, get, I mean, we don't have to confine ourselves to this method, of course, because. We can now capture on angles. I mean, if I let one of them get up there, I can get him, right? Am I right about that? I should be able to capture him to the northeast. Is it nine I press? Yep. I should be able to capture him, but then I get captured. Oh, I can't go southwest. I can't do that one. Oh, there's new guys. What are they? Bishops? They can move, obviously, well, if you know chess, they can move on diagonals. They can only move on diagonals, which means as long as I'm on a bright green square, they'll never, those two will never be able to get me. Um, if those are, indeed. If those are, they look, they kind of look like pawns, actually. I'm not sure why they have little yellow arrows on them. I'm assuming those are bishops. They might not be. No, they're not. They're clearly not. Yeah, I can definitely only capture on diagonals. I can't move on diagonals. Oh, I can't go backwards with a. I was going to attack to the. Oh, fuck, I just killed myself. No, I didn't. I can go here. Then I can go here. 
Then I can go here. Then I can go here. Well, I'm going to have to... Uh, oh, can I go south? Yeah, I can. There's one gone. Ah! All right, guys. I think this is a fascinating game. It's a very, very non-traditional roguelike, but I love the idea that they are marrying, um, well, the chess rule set with, with, um, with a roguelike, you know, random procedurally generated levels and and such. It's it's a fascinating, fascinating idea. Well done. You know what? I haven't mentioned who made this yet. Let me uh, discover that. Um, looks like Chris Morris. The gentleman's name was Chris Morris. Uh, came out in two thousand five. Well done, Mr. Morris. Um, don't get confused with Rogue Chess, which is an actual board game. I think there's a card game as well. It's a chess rogue card game, uh, but it's not based on this, to the best of my knowledge. Anyways, yeah, um, very, very intriguing. That's it for today's look at our seven-day roguelike. Um, I will continue releasing Oangband, uh, what are we on now? Oangband, uh, video. Sorry, I'm getting confused as to where the hell I am. Uh, I'll continue releasing Oangband videos, uh, for the time being. Enjoy. See us. Uh, how do I capture? Stop this. Uh, um, press the key to continue. Your final score is nine. Fucking right. Nine. Like a boss. Yeah, save that game report. No, don't play again. Bye.